It's the dawn of a new day. The world awakens. The birds twitter. A rooster crows. And soon, as always, will come that sound of music, sweet to the ears of all servicemen. strains of first call haven't sounded yet, so they're still sleeping peacefully. Well, some of them, that is. Mike Doyle here seems to be having trouble with his feet. Joe Kupacek must have eaten something that didn't agree with him, or with his stomach. Tom Davis sounds like a flour mill, but he's grinding his teeth. Wonder what's giving him bad dreams. Was he too tired after that hike for his shower last night? And look at Homer Turner. Well, he seems to be troubled from head to foot, with everything from galloping dandruff to creeping epidermophytosis, athlete's foot. More trouble for Homer? That's a big idea of ducking me in the creek. Hey, what I want is, why did you do, why did you? Now's the time when a fellow really needs a friend. be six feet underground. Maybe that's why even your best friends won't tell you. Are you trying to tell me that I smell? Oh, no, Homer. I smell. You stink. Now you listen here now to me. Now you listen to me. It's time you did more listening and less talking. 
It's time you found out why your own buddies hold their noses. The fighting word. Good. Maybe if you're in a fighting mood, you can do something about fixing up what's wrong with you. Like what? Like taking a bath regularly, for instance, with soap and hot water. You're a soldier in the army. I'm a good soldier. What good's a soldier if he spends most of his time in the hospital? I'm not a gold brick. I haven't landed in the hospital yet. No, but you're going to. How? Homer, you know what germs are. The little old bugs. They're killer bugs. You want to know something? In the last war, we often had more casualties from those little old bugs than we had from actual combat. Yeah, but what those little bugs got to do with me? Germs are all around you, billions of them. And on you, too, right now. The little bugs aren't going to harm me. You ever read this manual? I tried it once. It's got too many long words in it. Too much book learning for me. Book learning's for soldiers, too. I came across this. The term dermotyphotosis includes a group of infectious skin diseases caused by various fungi, microscopic moles, which rarely penetrate deeper than the outer layer of the skin and may involve the hair and nails, ringworm, tinea, athlete's feet, epidermophytosis, trichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotrichotr
you fresh and clean. Oh, soap and water makes you cleaner than you used to be. Keep you fresh and clean. Keep you fresh and clean. Keep you fresh and clean. Oh, soap and water makes you cleaner than you used to be. Keep you fresh and clean. You know, Mike, those are pretty good lyrics. Got any more? Sure, but you've got to get in here with us. Yeah, those are shower lyrics, Homer. Come on in, the water's fine. Oh, no, 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 If you brush your teeth, you'll always find You'll have all your teeth to chew and grind You gotta brush your choppers all around Not side to side, but up and down Brush them up and brush them down Keep your choppers clean and sound Help your teeth to stay around Until you're old and gray Oh, you had no teeth in your infancy and you'll still have none in the infantry. If you don't take care of your teeth and gums, you'll wish you had when a toothache comes. Brush them up and brush them down. Keep your choppers clean and sound. Help your teeth to stay around until you're old and gray. Oh, brush them up and brush them down. Keep your choppers clean and sound. Help your teeth to stay around. Homer's initiation to personal hygiene is beginning to make a better soldier out of him and may help him get back his Class A pass. And now he's starting the day out right. A bath and a tooth scrubbing. Oh yes, he'll wash his hair and scalp too and have his hair trimmed regularly. There's nothing like that well-groomed look to start the day off right. Now he knows he shouldn't wear socks with holes or large men's in them. So he'll put on a fresh pair of clean socks. As Confucius said, man who do not change socks daily, change friends daily. It's healthier too. No dirt, no germs, no sore and itchy feet. He also knows that his socks should fit him just right. Large enough to allow his toes to move freely, but not too loose, or they'll wrinkle and cause blisters. Shoes are important also. When your feet hurt, you hurt all over. Are Homer's shoes too big? If so, he's inviting trouble. There should be no binding or undue pressure when his foot is expanded by body weight. Hey, Pat. Yeah? I think I got the new marching song down okay. Good, let's go through it before chow. Hey, fellas. Yeah, Pat. Let's rehearse Homer's new marching song again. Good. Yeah, Good idea. Give up, man. Oh, when you go marching down the road With a full pack on, that's a heavy load Your feet'll never pain you, ache or swell If your socks are clean, if your shoes fit well Blisters on your feet, corns and other woes Calluses and bunions will bother careless shows Your feet'll never smell mighty like a rose If you wear clean socks, shoes will fit your toes Your feet will never smell mighty like a rose If you wear clean socks, shoes will fit your toes Bum-diddy-ah-da, bum bum 